In this video we're going to be focusing on what an attribution is and look at the two different types of attributions. At its heart, an attribution is an explanation. And that really is what it is. We're looking at an explanation of behavior. Why did something happen? So the ex explanation could be about your own behavior or somebody else's behavior. We can start off looking at this by thinking about dogs. There's actually been some research looking at the attributions people make about dogs. Specifically, if you, when we look at the picture of this particular dog, we might, and to ask people to explain what's going on, people might say, no, that dog's happy. Okay, I mean, smiling. Well, we don't know if the dog's really smiling because um, dogs don't really smile. But if we look at the, the research on this topic, what's interesting about it is we know that people attribute um, smiling to this dog because of the shape of his head. So the shape of a dog's head, as you can see, is kind of, if you look at it from the top, it's triangular. You got this part back here and it comes down here. And when the dog opens the mouth, this, the open, uh, opening of the mouth looks to be like a V shape which is kind of what a smile is. You could argue a smile is more of a U, but a stretched out U, but it's the same kind of concept. And so people are making attributions. And actually, um, we know that uh, part of the reason people attribute things like being friendly to dogs and so forth is if you, if you compare dogs to wolves, because think about a dog is basically a domesticated wolf. Wolves won't look you in the eye dogs will. And so, in, at least in our culture, looking someone in the eye seems friendly. And so we might attribute that behavior. So we're, lo we're looking, we're, we're ascribing human behavior to dogs, or I should say um, human reasoning to the behavior of dogs. If we look at oops, the, what we'll look at next is there's two basic types of attributions. The first type is internal. You'll sometimes see it's called a dispositional attribution. They mean the same thing. Think about your disposition as talking about kind of your personality, your temperament. And so with internal attributions, you're saying something about either yourself or the person. So think about saying that the dog is friendly. That's an internal attribution. And sometimes we make these and make these attributions that something is about is, is based related to the person's personality. For example, um, let's say a politician that you like does some, make some statement to the press. You might make an internal attribution and say, "Well, that's just what a how, what a great person that into that um, politician is," and you would ascribe that person's statement or behavior as having more to do with that person's um, personality. Like they're a kind person. They care about other people. They want to do what's right for America. You might make internal attributions. Now on the other hand, you could make an external attribution. So an external attribution, which is also sometimes called a situational attribution, think about that word, situational. We're looking at the situation, or in other words, the context. We're looking at where does this happen? Where is this behavior happening? And can that environment explain why that person is doing that behavior? If we go back to the politician, instead of making an internal attribution, we can make an external one. And we could say that politician made that statement because it's, the, it's election time and that person wants to get reelected. So their statement isn't a reflection of their own values. It's more of, I know this is what people want to hear and this will get me votes. And so you can make a different type of attribution. And we do this all the time. And one thing I find interesting about attribution is when you hear people say, oh, I don't like to judge people. I don't judge people. Um, that's kind of a lie. We all judge people. And you can make the, the reason I make that conclusion is we're all making attributions. And attributions are very similar to judgments. 
because attributions are looking at how do you explain a person's behavior. And depending upon if you're right or wrong, um, if you're wrong, that could be a judgment. So if you're saying a politician is supporting a certain cause because um, she's doing it for the votes, and you're wrong that she's really doing it because she believes in the issue, you're making an external attribution when you should have made an internal attribution. And so you are making, so in that case, you're making a judgment. So I guess in one sense, whether or not you judge other people is going to depend upon the accuracy of your attributions. And the more accurate you are, maybe the, the less people might see you as being judgmental. But I, I don't really see judgments as bad unless you're doing something that is being mean-spirited or somehow degrades the other person. Uh, we all make judgments. You have to make a judgment to determine if you like someone or not. Do you want this person to be your friend? Um, <clears throat> here's, <coughs> here's an example from that I have in the lecture notes. In this Dilbert comic, we have two people. We have the pointy-haired boss, which I know sounds strange, but that's actually the character's name in the Dilbert comic strip, and Catbert, who's kind of the human resource director. So the pointy-haired boss says, I'm too busy to learn anything about the projects I'm managing. So in this case, the behavior we're looking at is not knowing anything about the, pro the projects that he's in charge of. When we look at this situation, he makes an internal attribution because he says it's because he's so busy. That's why he doesn't know anything about it. Now, Cadbert, we see in the third panel, is making an internal attribution. He's saying, no, it's not about how busy you are. It's because you're lazy and stupid. That's why you don't know anything about your job. And so again, we got the same behavior, but two different attributions. And you'll see later in the chapter when they talk about mistakes people make with attributions, that sometimes there's a big difference when you make attributions about yourself versus other people. There are certain biases we engage in when making uh, um, attribution either about ourselves or about somebody or somebody else. So hopefully this will help you kind of get a better understanding of what we mean by um, attribution theory.